Hi, my name is Felipe Silva, and I'm a research scientist at the Indiana University Network Science Institute. Today, we'll be pres presenting our work on modeling bursts in the evolution of author citations. Well, we all know that citations received by authors are among the most used criteria for comparing and the ranking authors. Just that alone is a good reason to understand a little bit more about the citation acquisition process. Here we check if simple preferential attachment mechanisms could explain these dynamics. For that, we employ data from APS journals supplemented with disambiguated author IDs from the Microsoft Academic Graph. We started our, our, our analysis from a bipartite network of authors being cited by papers. This is the same way that we observe author citations in platforms such as ResearchGate, Google Scholar, and others. We first checked if, for evidence of preferential attachment by looking at the relationships between number of citations received in a certain year and those we obtained previously. We found some correlation indicating preferential attachment, but we also found a very broad distribution indicating burst dynamics. We simulated a simple preferential attachment model with attractiveness in which the probability of an author to receive a citation depends on a constant and on the total number of citations obtained previously. The model was able to recover partially the citation distribution, but failed completely for replicating the bird size distribution. We also found in the data that the relationship between new citations is stronger with the citations received in the most recent months. To incorporate this recensive aspect to the model, we made, the we made the probability of being cited depending on the citations received in the past few months. This model was able to recover both citations and bursts distributions, with the best matching happening when we consider the past one to two years. So, in this sense, an author is as hot as they have been in the last one to two years. So thank you and stay safe.